Hey guys, Jason with Faction Marine. We're doing a walkthrough on a 2023 MB Sports B52 Alpha. This boat just happens to be one of the first MBs that we've got at Faction Marine. We're gonna do our best to do a full, uh, a full walkthrough here, like we've done with the other Centurion and Supreme boats and Montero boats. Um, you look at the photos um, that we have on our website, you'll be able to look at this, this boat more in detail. But this has the cognac brown interior monotone and then it's a pearl navy blue. We really like this color combination and we hope you guys like our walkthrough video. Everybody likes to know the specs on these boats. So here it is on the 2023. MB B52 Alpha. This boat is 5,200 pounds dry with 65 gallon gas tank. Uh, it holds a little over 4,700 pounds of factory ballast and uh, it's very cool ballast actually. This, it's got a quick fill underneath that's just actuated by basically two, two arm pull levers and that's gonna fill your main tanks underneath. And then there's two bags of about 1,200 pounds on each side that actually fill these rear compartments. You can see the storage here and we've got the ballast not quite full but you can see this ballast bag will come up to about here and then you can keep you know if you want to keep life jackets ropes that sort of thing in there that's a nice place to put it but this boat has a crank and wave and you guys are going to see you know we love to surf stick around you're going to be able to see this boat surf in a little bit towards the end of our end of our uh, video here um you can see here we've got the center latch and center walk through you can see we keep best in there water drains through down into the bilge Nice place to keep boots also. Uh, we've got the flip up seats. This is a nice addition that the B52 Alpha has. You can see Cade sitting back in one right now. Uh, we do have cup holders on the back. We've got a cleat here, bar, and we don't have, to, we can't show you it right now because we're not in the water, but there is a rear step that pops down in the water. For those of you that complain about not having a ladder to get up, that's stowed underneath the, underneath the swim platform. Moving in, you can see we've got a nice walk down here to the interior, a little bit lower freeboard. And a lot of times people are asking, well, what's the difference between a, the Alpha series and the standard series? Well, the Alpha series is gonna give you these curved lines where the, the standard series is gonna give you a very straight kind of gunnels. And uh, you won't get that rub rail line that curves down as you see in this video, especially when you're looking from the outside of the boat. What I like about it is it allows me as the driver to sit over the side, instruct my students or instruct my surfers in the water, skiers, tubers, whatever. And I can easily see and talk to them and make sure that they're hearing us okay. And I can see them very clearly over the side. You might notice uh, in the 2023, these things come well, equi well equipped. You get standard four JL audio speakers or two JL audio speakers. We opt to do everything with four speakers. Uh, you get the 8.8 inch interior JL audio speakers. You get the control head unit that's at the helm. And I will tell you, you can dial this thing in and it sounds really, really good. Very loud, 12 inch subwoofer in our package. Um, it's a quick thing uh, this boat does have, actually all the Alphas have is this flip up seat. So I literally reach over the front here. There's a handle here. I'll slide it back 180 degrees, a latch down here. And then I'll flip this up. And now we have rear facing seating here for, you know, kids, friends, whatever, want to sit here and all face backwards. Um, Cause you know, everybody likes to sit backwards. Um, it's a nice place to sit and relax. You can flip the latch. Ooh, Sean's showing you how nice it is. Look at how nice oh, it is up, I guess. <laughs> um, flip the switch here or the latch, sorry. And then up and over and there's a handle right there. You might notice there's a lot of blue in this boat. The great thing that I like about these MBs, you know, these guys build 250, 300 boats a year and you can customize the panels. You can customize your powder coating on your tower, the base. Uh, you can you can even customize your board rack powder coating. Um, a lot of stuff that you can customize on these. These alphas come standard with the Bimini top too. Um, we really like those. The power tower here is quite cool. Basically, that was up all the way to a click. You can see power actuator. This will go up and down at the push of a button. And once you know it, 
on the 2023s, the power tower is a standard, not an option. Literally push the button. We have a lot of bridges here, so you can go from lake to lake, and it's nice to have this for quickly um, and easily folding the tower down. Uh, lots of storage in here. Um, we've got hinge storage in there, life jackets, um, cooler in here. And you can see they've put the, the uh, gator step flooring down in there on the bottom. So you're not looking at that, you know, unsightly flooring or truck bed liner. Uh, I like how they did that. You might notice um, I've showed a couple things in here. We, we are running about, uh, about 400 pounds of lead in here because me and my son like to ride a little bit just by ourselves. So we got to simulate some people weight. So that's some of the bags that you guys have seen in here. We're going to look under the helm here. Under the helm. We've got our dual batteries here. This battery switch is right up here. Ample storage. The cover's down in this little hole, but you can fit five, six uh, skim style and probably three to four surf style boards down in this compartment. Golf compartment here. And you can see too, this is anodized or powder coated to match the rest of the boat the windshield is it's it's just a great looking boat now it takes a little bit more work to build one of these but it pays off in the end with all the customizations you can do you can see casey's up there he's about what casey six foot one. six one and he sit, fits up there no problem i think you easily could have a couple people up there there is the center cushion can be removed but look up on the front there for getting in and out they've put a nice traction uh traction up there with the gator step so you're not slipping getting in and out of the boat i'm going to quickly show you uh how this wave looks how we've set up the ballast so that you you can see so i've actually got the ballast set up here because we were just actually shooting our drone footage but so what you do is while sitting still we open this this side up and just sitting still this is going to put i would guess around 800 to a thousand pounds per side um, on each side once that's full then we just go ahead and tap the button one two three and it'll take four minutes and 30 seconds to fill that bag up and it's i mean it's it's quite substantial when you see this wake um the four ballast i'll hit the upper part and it'll say four ballast filling to stop it i just hit it again and it'll stop to drain it's the exact opposite i hit on the bottom side and it'll drain now the cool thing and we'll show you this when we're getting towards the end of the video but to drain the ballast, well, actually the, the, the starboard and the port ballast will drive. We'll get on plane about 10, 12 miles an hour. We'll pull these levers and there's these huge ports. I'd say three to four inch ports in those bags that drain right down into, into the tanks. So you have no pumps to drain, only pumps to fill. It makes for a very fast drain. I'd say it takes around 60, maybe 75 seconds. So a minute, 15 seconds to drain out all that massive ballast about 2,000 pounds per side. It, it's it's pretty impressive. Um, so we've got we've got like I said we've got these filling up for right now, and then I'll pick surf left or surf right. Today we're surfing left, and then my cruise control, I've got it set at 10.9. You can of course move it, but your your cruise control is down here on this eight pack. Um, has your speed control on the right side, so up and down. Our courtesy lights down here. Our heaters right there and our surf lights docking lights there our navigation anchor lights our bilge is there and our blower is right there and and that's the delayed horn <laughs> so uh it's quite nice too once you got this the audio zones tuned in on this you're going to notice that it actually it's it's a very nice very high quality sound system but let's take a look at the wave real quick here second to get that thing and I'm at 11 miles an hour full ballast and this thing is just it's very cranking a couple waves here well, you can see this is uh, out of the box it's a very clean uh, very easy to set up wave with a very nice size barrel on it 
and extremely clean from the lip, the shelf, everything over. Just a, a really nice uh, third wake on this boat. Yeah, I forgot to mention on this particular boat, this does have the 440 motor in it, the 6.2 Raptor 440. Uh, at our elevation, I don't know that it's, and we're about 1,200, 1,400, something like that. I don't know that you would need that. We've been testing out the 400 as well, and it's ample power for our elevation, and we're running with the standard prop. So, so far, we've been pretty impressed with these. Kay's going to see what he can do here. Get the board slide with just nice, clean waves there. And he's making me jealous. I want to get out there and ride. And there he goes down. Well, you guys can see the MB23 here from MB Sports, the B52 Alpha. Uh, it's quite impressive in its own right. And um, for us, you know, just becoming a dealer here, you're going to see more walkthroughs of us with the other models. But so far, we're really impressed with these, and we feel like they fit into our offering here at Faction Marine. Great between, you know, the four brands that we sell. Uh, if you're interested in knowing more, please feel free to message us, call us, or check us out at factionmarine.com. Thanks for watching.